Brian Jones died for your sins. Which was an old sticker we used to put everywhere in London. You have to think of being alive in the early 60s, 62, 63, and you'd got the Beatles just beginning who we thought were wimps. You know, because mummy and daddy like them. I mean, who wants to be into a band that mum and dad like? <laughs> Grannies like them. It was awful. And then the Stones came along and people hated them. But we loved the way they looked and amongst that, it seemed to me that Brian Jones was the one adding the exotic side of it. Mm. And of course, we've always been interested in pandrogyny and hermaphrodism and you know, ambiguity in the genders. And he was very ambiguous with his, his whole look. So he represented many of the themes that have continued through my life. Mm. So he became a god star, one beyond a, beyond a superstar. You can only be a god star when you've passed on. This one, this vest, is Lady J's. And this one is, was mine for the Illuminati Bavaria Motorcycle Club. And where did we put all those t-shirts from yesterday? That was the design that we used for a lot of our 12-inch singles. That's my favorite, I think. Yeah? Yeah. But we gave them freedom to choose whatever they wanted, so... We read a lot of Burroughs where he talked about hieroglyphs working directly on the nervous system in a non-verbal way. And that sort of idea has always fascinated us. We're not sure quite what that means, but the vertical is three and then the two wide horizontals are two, and then the smaller one is two-thirds of two. So it's always in the proportions of two and three. But it works um, like all these things. It has a sense of familiarity. It was designed to do that. It you know, deliberately has a Christian cross in it. It also has an upside-down cross in it. So the shop has become part of our network, you know? And they wanted to do something to make their young urban people take it a bit further and think clothing can also be a recognition symbol. Ah, there's some of my people. You know, you're in a different town, you see that, maybe they'll help me out. And that's part of the reason why things like the Psychic Cross are important so people can recognize it. Exactly. And it was, some, it was that kind of behavior, that loyalty and that camaraderie and, and the, the positive side of what, what they are, that those are qualities we just thought were really um, worthy of nurturing in a new way, you know, to add them into the mix of how to live communally, you know, that there must be real loyalty and trust, because without that, without people being prepared to sacrifice themselves physically by being in a fight if necessary, always from the beginning that's been our major idea. All the other stuff we do is wonderful and fun, but a band is a group with loyalties and so on. A box of smile, Yoko Ono, 1971. That's so cool. You are the box of smile. 